Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I am finally going to do my Briarfest haul. Um, I don't know why it's taken me so long to get this video up. I do apologize. A lot has just been happening and um, don't really want to get into all of that. So without further ado, here is all of the goodies and stuff that I got at Briarfest. It was my, my first Briarfest. I'm going to show the models that I got at the end, um, so for now I'm just going to get through all the non-model horse stuff. So first we have, uh, I did the VIP this year because um, it was my first buyer fest and I wanted it to be extra. So this is the uh, the bag that all of the like the swag pack stuff came in. It's pretty cool. Um, I probably I don't see myself using this bag though, like for absolutely anything else other than the purpose that it served for at Briarfest. Maybe, um, if anything, I would use this to go filming, like put some props and stuff in here, but um, yeah, I would. I don't see myself using this bag though. It looks really cool though, especially in the sun. Um, it's like really cool and like holographic looking. Like look how cool that is. That is so cool. Anyways, and then underneath that I just have the, you know, the big bar bags that we all got with our um, models. This is actually, I wanted to show this because when I go filming, I don't really have like a bag I can put my models in. They usually end up in my backpack like all squished. So this is kind of perfect for that because I can fit like a bunch in here uh, when I'm out and off filming. So yeah, that's quite nice and convenient. So I just wanted to throw that in this video as well. Why not? And then it also came with this water bottle and this is just what the design looks like. It's really cool. I really like the color scheme they chose this year. Um, that literally looks like it's like luminescent. Luminescent? Is that the right word? I don't know. Um, I don't really see how it goes with the theme against all odds. To me I get like a futuristic maybe like theme with this with all the neon and stuff maybe even like a little bit of 80s but with the against all odds theme I don't really see how it correlates but I'm not complaining because I do love the color scheme a lot I love purple I literally dyed my hair purple like twice so yeah and but again I don't see myself using this like strap holder water bottle thing for like any other outside reason other than like at Briarfest I wouldn't I wouldn't even take it with me next year because I feel like they have like I don't know. It, 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 and the type of water bottle it is, it's not like it's going to keep your water cold. Um, and, oh wow, I realized I have not washed the water bottle since I used it at Briarfest. That's, that's lovely. Um, but I'll show you what the water bottle looks like. So it just says, against all odds, VIP, and it has the Briarfest logo. But yeah, I really need to wash this. I did not wash it at all. I filled it up with ice. That way when the ice melted, it would be nice cold water for me to drink. But yeah, um... Don't see myself using this. It's not like it's going to keep my water cold, but I guess for filming, you know, what the heck. Why not? And then I think this is the my, like, favorite thing that I got in the VIP swag pack, aside from the fan. Um, it's this really cool uh, light. It says Briarfest 2024. But yeah, it lights up, and it's just really cool. It changes colors. And eventually, in my bedroom, which is where we are at now, I plan on getting a desk in a new computer so I can edit everything. I Right now I'm doing it on an iPad, which is not, just not convenient. And this is gonna go on my desk. So I'll make a video about that and everything. So I'm really excited about that. And then this is the fan that I was just talking about. Um, did not use this at Briarfest. I did use it a little when I got back home because our AC broke, but it just says against all odds, VIP, blah, blah, blah. And then I showed this in my vlog, but when it lights up, it says against all odds, and I just thought that was really cool. It's a good little fan too, like it works surprisingly quite well. Um, it's not really showing up that well on camera. And then we have the little pins, the uh, little pin uh, set. Let's see if I can remember their names. That's obviously the celebration model, Athenian Lady. I think this is Fight Song, and this is Little Chipper. Lil Chipper? Lil, Lil Chipper. Um, Big Chipper, I don't know, but um... Yeah, I don't know where I'm going to put these. Maybe on like a bag or something. Pretty cool. And then here is my um, wristband. I was very happy that they were going to, they were still doing the wristbands. I thought that they weren't 
because like the whole online thing or whatever but yeah and I love how they're adjustable because I have really really small wrists I have big hands my wrists are tiny it's I don't know it's funny but yeah again I really like the colors I liked the colors so much that I tried to find friendship bracelets that were the same color scheme if you, if you um cannot tell and so starting off with this one though this um pink Horsey wristband. Poe gave this to me um, when I was in the VR room. And then I have, we have an end pod. I don't remember where I got this one from or who I got it from. I just knew that it was purple and I wanted it. And then we have another cute purple one. It says Zafira. I think that's how you pronounce that. Again, I don't remember who I got these from. <laughs> And then, I, but I know who I got this one from because it obviously says on there, Celtic. She made really cute. CC. CC's meowing. Just ignore her. She made really cute bracelets this year. She has like little hats, which is kind of like her signature logo. Um, but again, like on point with the color theme, black, purple. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, and then with the VIP uh, swag pack, whatever. That also came with this sticker. It's really big. Don't know where I would put this. I assume it goes in a car, a vehicle of some sort, but respectfully, <laughs> I would never put this on my car, but I'll find somewhere to put it eventually. Um, but yeah, so I, uh, I also got that. And then at the social media meet, um, of course, I got, I actually didn't get these for myself. Cassie's mom actually, she uh, went and grabbed these um, for me, but they don't work anymore, which is sad. But, um, it's okay. It was cute. It had its moment. Also at the social media meet, I got this drawing from MM Studios. Um, I thought it was a sticker at first. It's not a sticker. Me and Angelique were trying to figure out, like, how to, you know, peel it off so I could stick it somewhere. But it's not a sticker, it's a drawing. But it's very beautiful. Here's a little bit more up close. But yeah, so I got that at the social media meet. And here I have some business cards. This one I actually got at the social media meet. I don't know, this lady came up to me. I don't even know who she is. Random lady. She's like, do you play horse games? And I said no. But um, she gave me this business card anyways for um, like this horse game that she has. I don't know, it's like about sustainability, horses, farming. If you're into that, um, you should go check this out. Rope and Ranch. But yeah, I just took it out of kindness. Oh, and they got like these cards got a little busted because I shoved them in my pocket at the airport. And then I just picked up, I picked up um, AB's uh, business cards because why not? They're pretty and, but unfortunately they kind of got, you know, busted in my pocket. But anyways, and then the reason I have my phone is this is, <laughs> this is where my Pedro sticker went um, from the VR room. Uh, very disheveled. The plastic covering actually came off of it last night. But, um, and then this one's for my niece. She's six in case y'all were wondering what that's all about. Um, but yeah, I just put it on my phone, my very old phone. But yeah, that's all the like non-models stuff that I got. And now we can move on to the actual plastic horses, ponies, okay. So first up, we have the celebration model, Athenian uh, Lady. I really, 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 really love the story behind this horse. I think it's very, I can't think of the freaking word. Inspiring. Wow, that's the word. I can't do English anymore. I thought her story was very inspiring and she has on her belly Firefest 2024. Um, at first I was like this horse is orange, but the actual horse Athenian lady She is quite an orange orangey chestnut and um, so it, it reads Interesting on a plastic model, but if you see her like it's not like she's not like a dark red chestnut briar did her color um, pretty spot on. It's just the fact that she's a plastic horse and she has such the prettiest eyes And I think she would look beautiful on camera Um, but yeah, I did I actually didn't get to uh, well, I did see her like in person, but I didn't get to like Meet her owner or anything like that. Um, but yeah, very beautiful story. Very inspiring perfect model for the theme That's one thing that Briar didn't miss on this year and then the other models I got I did not get many models this year. There's a couple reasons why, but I'll get to that later. Um, so I got Fighter and 
Survivor, her baby. I do love these guys. Um, I'm tempted to customize them, but I'm trying to tell myself not to. Because as you can see, I did get VIP, but these, these are the only horses that I wanted up keeping. So I'm like, you need to just, just keep one set of special runs. Like, just one. Um, but the mare, the mama, she is absolutely stunning. I love draft horses. Her shading is amazing. I love this mold. I love how big and, like, heavy she is. She feels quite... Um, and then there's her belly. She feels very sturdy. Like, I could film with her and she would, you know, not fall apart on me. And then her baby. Very, very cute. One brown, one blue eye. Again, on the belly. Um, and her legs are a little, like, but... <laughs> so she kind of has a hard time standing sometimes, sometimes. She's fallen over on my dresser a couple of times. But, um, unfortunately, those are the only... <laughs> those are the only models that I got. Uh, this year. It's funny. It's so funny because I was like, when I go to Briarfest for the first time, I'm gonna get like over 20 horses. I'm gonna bring an extra suitcase just for all the horses I buy. And I literally didn't buy a single horse. If anything, I sold the horses I got. So for VIP, these were my uh, first special runs. And then I got Gascon, who I sold. I got the surprise model which she was a the glossy um bay uh or whatever i sold which i kind of regret now that i'm thinking of it because she was my first surprise model and my first glossy surprise model at that so i kind of regret selling her but anyways yeah so she's gone and then i also got the stable mate the four stable mates which i sold and then just like fire which i could not sell him so i left him at the hotel <laughs> But yeah, so the reason I really didn't buy any models this year, surprisingly, is, uh, well, for one, I only brought a carry-on, and so I did not have the room. And two, I genuinely was not interested in buying models. I still am kind of going through that kind of a funk, kind of a phase where, unless I need a model to film with, then I'll get it, but I don't really, like, at this current stage in my collecting I don't really collect for pleasure anymore unless I see a horse that I've been wanting since I was a kid for like a really good deal then maybe but right now I just have no interest I'm just like oh it's it's a plastic horse you know like I just I unless I need it to film with I'm not really actively collecting but hopefully I think next year I'm that's the year I'm gonna go kind of crazy also I didn't really have as much like funds to do so. I mean, I did stay at the embassy, so go figure. That's kind of where all my money went. <laughs> but again, it was my first Briarfest. I wanted to be extra, and I did. Would I do it again? Be extra? No, but I don't know. Maybe. Anyways. All right, y'all. So that is the end of my Briarfest 2024 haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully it wasn't too boring. <laughs> and again, I'm sorry this video took so long to get out. I feel like August has just been like a whole like year compressed into 27 days. It's just been insane and everything kind of went downhill after Briarfest, but we're not going to get into all that, okay? Good vibes. Good vibes only. Good things. Good things only. Faith and hope. Um, obviously, a little update on that if you're interested about my Model Horse series. Um, I have a very, 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 very important announcement, video announcement coming out after this video regarding Faith and Hope. So if you are voice acting, if you want to, if you're watching the series or interested in it at all, um, make sure you do not miss that video because it's very, very important. I cannot stress enough. Um, it's just a quick little announcement video. Nothing bad. Nothing bad. If anything, I'm very excited um, about it. So just keep your eye, keep an eye out for that. I still have so much to do for Faith and Hope. Oh my gosh! I still have to make costumes. I still have to get my sets in order. Um, I still have to buy a bunch of props. I still have to get a computer or so I can edit because I have no way to edit. I'm not editing on my iPad. It's just not happening. I just have a big checklist of stuff that I have to do. And I plan on filming the costume making, so I have another um, addition to my behind the scenes series. So far I have done set making and location scouting, and my next behind the scenes for Faith and Hope I want to do costume making. So that should be out after the announcement video I have, which would be coming out after this. So it's this video, the announcement video, and then the behind the scenes video. And then hopefully, if nothing comes in between that, the next upload after that should be the 
should be um, the first episode of season four. But yeah, so thanks for watching. I hope you guys are excited for all of my future endeavors that I have planned out. Hope you're excited for Faith and Hope. And I hope you have a lovely rest of your day, night, evening, morning, afternoon, whenever you're watching this. Don't forget to stay gold. And I will see you all in my next video.